So anybody that knows me knows just how much I love my competition fishing. So today Sammy's challenged me to catching four different species in one day. I think three will be relatively easy, I say, depending how it fishes. But the fourth one's probably got me. I did say got, to you three initially. Yeah, I did ask for four. <laughs> you said four of you, right? <laughs> I did ask for four. That's how much you love it. It is. I do. It's in the mud. I do love the. Uh, I do love the challenge. So we're going to start. We're going. I've made a few casts already today, and had a, you know, had a, had a look at a couple other spots on the way down. The perch seem to be feeding all right. I didn't, I couldn't manage a big one. I tried them on the top this morning, but they won't come up. So. I'm still confident I'll find a big perches. They just seem to be all over the river and, and, and feeding. The Xander, on the other hand, I not had one yet. I thought I had a bite off a of Xander, but we'll see how it goes. So the plan is to get that Xander put away. I'm confident we'll find a perch. And if we don't pick a pike up along the way, we'll go back and we'll, we'll target one in the afternoon. So um, wish me luck. And what about the sizes, mate? Oh, the sizes. It's all in the small print. Yeah. <laughs> so for sizes, I want a 40 centimetre perch. I'd say 60 centimetre Xander, but really I want a 70. Um, and pike, anything over 80, I'll, I'll take. When it comes to chub, I'll struggle to get a chub over anything over 30 centimetres, really. The chub fishing where I fish isn't great. Um, really, any chub for me, I'd be all right. But I'm aiming for a 30. So, um, yeah, we'll see what we can do. I can put that big Xander away, I can, I can relax a little bit. Is they'll either feed or they won't, and there's not a lot you can do about it. There's one. That's a perch, I think. Does it measure up though, mate? I'll give you it as a species. Yeah, no, no. What do we say the length, minimum length was? That's a 40 for a perch, because I think it's achievable. Was that on the swing ball? Right? Yeah, on the nine, nine centimetre swing ball. Just on a Texas? Yeah, just on a Texas rig. It's a size one hook. Got a seven gram on here, but I, I could probably get away with a five, to be honest, but I didn't plan on fishing this spot. It's a little shallow. Like I said, there's every chance of picking a picking a little Xander up here. That was a bite. Small fish. I just said you can see the, the bleak and the dace or whatever they are in the water. And you've just got this little that's another fish. You could pick a 40 centimetre perch up here. They are in they are in the area, you just you never know where they're going to be. This weather's weird at the minute. Oh, here we go. I've got another crankbait box as well. Well, it's a box with a jumbler. A jumbo is shot on it. The, just the regular, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's French a, blade. yeah, the French boy. But yeah, I'll get a quick, uh, quick go with a spin. Didn't really do it. Oh yeah. Didn't really do anything with the cranks, but um, I know there's, there's usually fish in this area. We've just seen one chasing and popping, only a small fish, but it's a good sign. With the spinners, obviously, there's a, a good chance of that pike or chub at the same time. The tide's not long since turned, so there's a a lot, of, a lot of crap in the water at night. It's 
Got to be careful how far down here I drift because it gets very shallow very quick. Again, the water's really steady here. You'd think the perch would They'll come down here. Kestrel. Oh, there's a perch. <laughs> I've seen that, I just paused for a second. Kill me. We're not, de not deterred by, uh, by the size at all. Should be a fair chance of a, um, of a chub just there it is. A lot of bait sat in here, but it's, it's really shallow at the same time. Always oh, a fair, like I said, it should be a good chance for a chub. I could do a drop, dropping back just a touch. Just seen a uh, a good sized zander. Just, it's funny you, you just come oh you just come over them sometimes. It's a good fish. What's the depth here? It's only eleven foot. Oh, it's on me. Still on me now. There's a, bit, there's, a, there's a good zander just staring right at me now. <laughs> it's so funny how oh, he's gone. Yeah, they just, they just, like I said, I literally dropped the live scope down as soon as I did. He was just sat right there. Might be worth running a drift. They usually don't, don't show as much, as much interest. Alright, I can um, I keep seeing fish. I can't tell really what they are. There's another one on the boat again now. We'll have a mooch in close, mate, in a minute and see what see what we can see. It's always a bit of a dilemma. The closer you put the boat to them, yeah, yeah. the more chance of them spooking because of it. But then the closer you are to them, the better strike you're going to get on them because you know what they're like. I like catching them at range, but you don't always hook them at range. It's quite a bonus, but there's fish everywhere, mate. I know. Yeah. I thought I could pick some weed up. There's a lot of weed in the river today, it's making it difficult. Oh, that was Ed. <laughs> it's only a small one, but God. Yeah, <laughs> that was okay. about it, yeah, it was a good bite. It was a... Um... Oh, it was definitely a Xander. in the fast water as well, which is interesting. You can see them, they look, they look posted up pretty high off the bottom. I'll probably try drop the drop shot. shot before we move. Well, they often find that when you're in the fast water, you get the bites when you get back near the boat because you can hold it. Yeah. You know, like now I'm in the fast water. Every time I move the lure, it's taking there's one. Jesus, it's a perch. <laughs> they don't mess about, do they? Oh, sorry, mate. No, it's a 10 centimeters and a pro and probably a 25 centimeter perch. <laughs> Hungry. 
<laughs> I don't believe that. Let's just, uh, yeah. But no, not the size perch we're looking for. I wonder now if that other bite were, were a perch. It's a weird place to find perch. Just sort of sat mid water in the, um, in the fast water. But again, the water temperature is 15 degrees. You just wouldn't believe it were October, would you? It's still warm and the fish are still. Oh, that's not a perch. That is high in the water though. Oh, keep seeing. There's good, there's good fish just drifting right under the boat. Just a, the perch are feeding well. What you after, mate? I'm just gonna get them. Oh god, I need, I need a better system. I need a better system. That's what you got me here for today. You know, mate? That's what you got me here for. Yeah. I'll, uh, That was one. That was a small fish. <laughs> yeah, it's just there's a load of perch right out in, near the boat at the minute. And again, there's a, there's an a ungodly amount of perch. I tend to see them like this in the river usually. But yeah, everything seems to be in the fast water. If you troll the crankbait up here, I think you go about. I don't think you'd stop. Yeah, so I'm just doing, just doing a little bit of vertical fishing now. And um, I mean, last year we really made the vertical work. This year it's been a little tougher, to be honest. And it, it hasn't been the same. It hasn't worked the same. Um, but when it does work, it can just be so good on the river. You know, so I always like to have a, a lot of vertical. Obviously, like this, this um, it's only 1.8 meters, which is about six foot, I believe. But it's just what you need, especially me. I'm fishing on my live scope transducer, I need it close enough that I can steer it. So I want my, I want to be able to drop my lure right down near the transducer. But it's a lovely rod, I've had some good fish on it and the um, Yeah, I always have it out on the boat when I'm out, because you never know when you just want to drop down and do a drift. Days like today when the fish are a little off the bottom and kind of just mooching about in the faster water, it can be really hard to present a lure to them any other way really in the flowing water without putting copious amounts of weight on, on a jig. Come. Might have bitten off more than I can chew with a chub. <laughs> Yeah, I've just had a, a pike come and snap at my lure. And the same fish, I seen it come up after a perch I caught a minute ago as well, so just put a little rattling sting, the Salmo twitch bait, and just see if we can get this pike. I don't think it's big enough for what I'm looking for today, but um, we'll see. Probably a seven, I only caught the back end of it, it's probably a 70 or something like that. Unless it were a Zander, I, I doubt it. Just that water is just pushing right in towards the end. Kind of swinging in this way. New. It's funny, isn't it, how it's all... Uh, it actually chased my, um, my mini crow in while I was retrieving it back, come flying after it to the boat. Which I imagine I'll not be able to get it with... Um, 
you know, with a crankbait or anything, but at some point it's probably going to pick this up. There's quite a few perch down here, but they're, they're just small. I had one bite, which, which felt good. Again, there's a lot of small perch here. Oh, that's not a bad fish. I need to be careful with my hands with that pike mooching about. Yeah, just a little perch on the mini crow. Just started fishing. The fish, the, the funny today, the perch, they're really sitting in really fast water. But yeah, the fine fish, but I'm just trying to find that bigger one. But I've got a feeling I'm going to get one in a minute. Yeah, I'm fishing downstream back towards myself here and it can be, um, you know, it can be difficult. Obviously the weight gets down better, but the river's just trying to force your line back over the top all the time. So it's, it's difficult to try and keep in contact. But if it's a big enough fish, you'll, you'll still feel a good bite. I just move the low free cut myself. If something does pick it up, I'll, I'll feel it on there anyway. There's a lot of small perch about. A bit snaggy. It's really snaggy. Oh, I'm asking for that. Oh no, hey, oh, perch just pulled me out at snag. <laughs> it's always a bonus. In the DFA of every now and then. Yeah, but no, I would, I would dead solid stuck then, and the um, the perch just come and come and pull pull me out the snag. I had it on a canal once out with Graham, and I got stuck on. Um, I was fishing down the side. It's like submerged concrete ledge, and I got the drop shot wedged. Ooh. Got the drop shot wedged down the side of it, and I'm pinging it like that, and next thing, boom, it just pulled off. And the fish actually broke the uh, broke the drop shot weight off. Oh, savage perch. Yeah, it was a good perch. Yeah, it was like a two. Good canal fish. I ain't been up there at all yet this year. So many places I haven't fished this year yet. You say that, mate. Your, your next challenge might be on a canal. Yeah, that's it. And I might have to increase in low size a little bit. I tend to catch them more like eight, nine, ten centimetre lows here, but I'm just going to try the mini crow while I've got it tied on. But I'd say there's a, there's a high chance I'll find a, find a good perch here. <laughs> I hope. It is the middle of the day, but um, it is what it is. Ah, yeah. That is the only downside here. There's places where going heavier will stop you getting snagged and there's places where you want to be a lot lighter. Obviously rocks and that you want to be you want to be lighter. But again, if you're going across, if you're casting across the river and drifting round, sometimes you want to be heavier so you don't just drift around stuff as quick. So there we go. That's one. Don't come off. It's not a monstrous perch, but it's decent. Oh, terrible net. <laughs> terrible, terrible. At least you can't blame me. <laughs> and that got stuck on the cleat. Oh, well that's the perch sorted anyway. Yeah, that's a 40. So yeah, that was the... Um... So that was the first cast on the uh, nine centimeter critter. Like I said, it's the, the perch in the, this river, they just... Sometimes, unless, unless you fish big for them, you just won't get them at all. But yeah, that's a fine fish. I'm sure we'll find a bigger one, make a few more casts while I'm here. But I best check it's 40. It's actually going to be close. Mate, I'll give, it, I'll give you that anyway. 
Oh, it is. I mean, this is a soft measure, but it's uh, that looks like 40 centimeters to me. Just you called it right, mate. Yeah, before you even seen it. <laughs> yeah, but no, yeah, it's a beautiful fish. Well, I've got a 40 in the bag, it's just having a quick rest in the net now. But there is some much bigger fish here as well. I'd like a 45 if I can. And since they're on the feed, I've just swapped colour to a, to a more natural colour. Um, not through choice, I lost the only hot olive one I had immediately after, but um, I'm hoping there's some more fish here. Maybe a bigger one. Might pick, could pick a zander up here as well, there's every chance. I don't do a lot with the... Um, with crayfish laws really for the zander on the river, but there's a, there's a lot of mitten crabs in here. I actually caught a perch in this exact place a few weeks ago and it spat up half a crab. Um, so they're definitely eating them. That's why I love a big creature bait on here for the perch, wherever you can find them down low. And it's just very snaggy and very taxing on gear, this place. That's why the perch like it so much. Gonna have a quick chuck with a, a really big low. This is the Strike King Space Monkey June Bug. It's a real hog, so we'll see if uh, if, if I get a bite, it's probably gonna be a big perch. Yeah, there's so much resistance on this low. <laughs> you pull against it. Be striking at the door. Oh god. I'll creep a little closer in a minute and have a look with the live and see if there's, there's any more here, but I imagine there is. Oh, that's that fucking... I'm out. That tree again. Worth just going after the... try and get a zander in the bag. Yeah. Yeah, no worries, mate. And then we can always go back and upgrade. Yeah, we can stop here on the way back. You can always upgrade your perch if you want. Yeah, I'll go and get that zander. Don't forget there's a pike in trouble. The pike, if I can get where I want to get this afternoon, I'll get a pike. It's the other side from the boat ramp when we get back up there. Well, you better walk, I might just <laughs> pick the odd one up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all over here. Fish. Oh, that's a better perch. That's on like a five inch, a five inch creature, mate. It's gonna be big. Oh. Not crazy big. <laughs> it's nowhere near as, as big as I thought it would be. I think he's done the perch now. Yeah. He's definitely done the perch. I mean. No. I mean, it's a. Uh, it's a huge law, but then again, it's not so stop flapping. But yeah, at the same time, it's not uh, no. it's not crazy. It's definitely a bigger fish. It's a beautiful fish. It's probably a 42, 43, we'll find out in a minute. Not crazy fat yet, but still, it's a stocky built fish. And I think we'll go and find a uh, we'll find a zander now. But I'm gonna run out of time. Oh, there it is. Yeah, 40, nearly 43. Just over 42. 42 and a half, somewhere around there. Well, you definitely need to get a photo of it, mate. Yeah. I'm just kidding. There we go. <laughs> 
Well, that's the perch sorted at least. It was nice to get a few big perch. I do have a love for big perch, I must say. But yeah, surprise on the big lowers. I was a little shocked myself to be, I have caught perch on these lows before, but it was a, a size bigger than I usually fish. But there you go. Right, we're going to find a Xander now, and I want a big one. Yeah, we've just shot down the river now. We're going to have a proper look for a Xander. Try and find a big one. Uh, we did have a little go from this morning, but they just couldn't find them where we've been fishing. But with more confidence down here, and yeah, the core looks great. So um, yeah, we'll keep keep trying, see if we can find them. I'm starting off pretty small. Probably alternate. The hot olive core is always a winner for the Xander for me. Just a 10 centimeter for now. And you don't always have to go massive for a Xander, but I do prefer a 12 usually for a bigger fish. And we'll alternate. We'll try the drop shot as well. Sometimes the they respond much better to the drop shot. Um, but it just depends how active they are. I mean, the water's 15 degrees. They should be well up for, for hitting the shed, to be honest. So we'll see what we can find. Just get a real light, a real light fast tap. I kind of wondered and hard about hitting it for for a second, and kind of just made a mess of the whole situation. It was definitely a um, definitely a fish. But yeah, so for the Xander today, I'm mainly going to be fishing this um, Xander casting rod. See, it's from the Fox Warrior range, and it's actually a really nice rod. It is a budget rod. But um, it was one of them where I just had it lying around one day and I come out with it recently, actually I had a 78 and a 76 on it and I've just really enjoyed using it. It's, I don't fish casting reels enough really. I wanna, wanna do a bit more cause it's, I don't know, more enjoyable way of fishing, but yeah. And that's paired with a, um, a loose speed sport. Again, it's one of their budget reels. Don't need any fancy equipment really. I mean, I'm fishing a 15 gram lure, so it's not like a casting light or unnecessarily super far but yeah it's a fine um, it's a fine combination and um, yeah handles the Xander just fine as we a bit of luck I'll be able to show you but yeah I'm just going to swap over to the drop shot a little bit I always like to fish a nice long leg a little slick for oops a little slick finesse on there it's only a size one hook I don't worry about crazy big hooks on the drop shot. They tend to, you know, pretty free moving and they'll suck it right in. Um, so yeah, when it comes to drop shot, I always like to just, it's just fishing it a little bit slow and, and holding it up. Like I said, I like to keep it 18 inches, two feet, even three feet sometimes off the bottom. And um, it's will suspend quite a lot. Um, and then to fish this, I'm just using a bit of a, a longer rod. It's, it's a seven foot six, I believe, or a seven foot eight, this rod. It's a five to 21. The TI Pro, um, but it's just nice. Again, I don't want to go really heavy on the drop shot rod. You know, I actually caught a PB on this fish on the drop shot, and it did um, it did bend it. But um, yeah, I was like having just a bit of tip and that on the drop shot. Don't want to go crazy heavy. And that's just paired with a with a Warrior reel, and you know, probably twenty pound braid somewhere around there. There was something too thick that will catch the water too much, but at the same time, there's a chance for a really big fish. I've just had a bite. I think this is my Zander. It may be, um, it may be. Oh, that's a six stick. Oh, live scope. Just come up for the drop shot. It's only like my second or third cast on the drop shot. Just slowed it right down. It's actually a good fish. Come on. No, oh, no. It's actually not. <laughs> it's probably 60 though. 
I'll take that son. <laughs> Yeah, that's a 60 all day. Cheers, man. We've got a perfect, perfect up placement on it as well. I mean, that's what I was, that's what I was talking about. Where you don't need a, a massive hook on the drop shot. Just spot my lure off, but just a tinsel. Slick finesse, I think that's a 13 centimetre with the looks of it. But we'll give him a measure. The beautiful colours in here are. It's lovely colour, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's the best part of it. 66 centimetres. Oh, he's done it. He's done it. I think we might persevere for, for, for a short while yet and see if we can get a bigger one. We are beautiful fish. The colours of them in this river are just unbelievable. Not a super hefty fish, but it's not really got to that length yet where they start to fill out. But um, yeah, beautiful fish. Just hooked up to what I think is another, another Xander. It's not a very big one, but um, just put a seven centimetre slick shed on, trying to catch a perch, because I could see a lot on the live scope. And uh, there's another pretty set. There we go. <laughs> not, uh, not what I expected on such a small wall, but it just shows you sometimes that... Uh, That's that young perch, isn't it? Yeah. Again, it's another another lovely fish. Like I said, I've just gone smaller. Seen a lot on the live scope. I'm just wondering what they were. Thought they were perch, but um, yeah, who knows? Still a mystery. But yeah, I'm just having a drive back up to try and find a pike now. Wasted a bit too much time on the Xander, but having said that, I can't resist another chuck on the perch as we're coming back past, so... Hopefully I can find a, a really good one. It'd be nice to get a 45. So we'll see how that goes. There we go, first cast. That was such a good bite. Oh, it's big, big. <laughs> oh, big. Oh, I always say that. I should be like, oh, it's big, big, big. It's a biggie. Oh yes. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. That is a tank. That is a horse. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now that's a proper one. <laughs> oh, it's got some got some weight to it as well. That is a big look. Whoa. Where's that measurement? Oh God, it's a 47. I'm gonna have to get a proper tape out for that, mate. It's hard to see. It's 46 there. Right guys, I've measured it again. Measure it on a proper tournament measure because I need it for an online competition. It is 47 centimetres on the dot. It's equal to as long, as, per, as long of a perch as I've ever had out the river. It's not got that huge mass to it. It's certainly a, a mid three. Um, it's not got that huge gut to it. So I'm not going to bother weighing it, but it's just a beautiful fish. And I'm so glad, 
so glad that we stopped for another cast. I knew the perch were feeding well. Obviously, if I weren't doing this challenge today, I'd just, I'd just go all in for, for the perch. But um, I'm going to have one more quick cast and then I best go find a pike. <laughs> I know. We'll see if I can go two for two with the cast. And when there's fish like that knocking around, it's not a massive leap to a 50 from there. As for the rod that I'm using for the perch today, this is a Street Fighter. It's actually the heavy shad, it's a 10 to 35 gram. And it might sound a little heavy for the perch, but as I hope we just saw on then, often there's a lot of structure, a lot of weight, and I need some power to pull them up and pull them out. The Street Fighter range of rods, they're not as stiff as some of the other rods, but I really do like that for perch. You just get that tip and it just tends to hang them on. Um, you know you know how much they, they bang their heads and, and knock about, but yeah, I really get on well with the Street Fighter rods for my perch fishing. Like I said, just go over, just over gun it a little bit. Especially in, um, especially in the big rivers. So as for the reel that I'm using, this is the early sample of the new TR reel. They should be available after Christmas. Um, it's a 1500 size, which is a decent size for, for what I'm doing here. You can go bigger, but the 1500 size is geared in a higher ratio. It's a six to one rather than the five. So all that means is when, it, when I come to you know, when you strike on a perch or something like that. I mean, I tend to, I work, I always like Texas rigs and creature baits. I tend to work them on the rod and not on the reel. So when I do get a bite, you can take that half a turn and you just pick more line up, obviously with a higher gear ratio. Um, as you probably saw when I hit that fish then, so I always try and get a, a turn in the reel before I strike on a perch. You do have a little bit of time, more so than with Xander. Um, but yeah, it's been a great combination. I use the used it a lot on the rivers and it serves me quite well. Is it pike o'clock yet mate? Yeah, we need to make a move. It's only because I want you to get your full Yeah, no I get it, I get it. <laughs> I need to stop f***ing that and go and find one. Because that was a f***ing monster. Oh, I'm not going to get any bigger on that probably. It's just worth a couple more casts just in case oh, they, were, yeah. they were a bigger one. <laughs> but yeah, let's go and get a pike. We can do a bit of casting around with a bladed jig. There's some slack water in here and whether it's, um, I don't think I'll get a really big pike here, but I might be able to find one. Well, I've just hit a, hit a pike on the head pretty much with it with a chatterbait and spooked it out of the shallows where it were. So that's a bit guttering, but I'll come back through when I, um, when I come back. It's nice to know that they're in here in the shallow though. Although his reaction to just, you know, disappear is not, not ideal. So much What was that? Tell me, someone just hit me then. Yeah, uh, it might have been a little pike. It could have been a perch, to be honest. I didn't get a good look at it, I just seen it move. Oh, there we go, got one. Oh, it's a perch. Oh, it's a big perch. <laughs> It is a day for perch today. <laughs> I don't believe that. It's not a. Um, it's not a monster, but it's probably a 40, 38 or something like that. You know, they're not shy of it today. 
Beautiful looking fish. Well, yeah, we'll keep looking for that pike anyway. Oh. <laughs> Good to. Mine's have been what that way that come up a minute ago, in it, me. Come on. Ooh, you. Matt, I think they're perched, mate. I think they're. Little perch, just trying to pick a chub up now. I've got a tiny little spinner on. Getting a bit desperate. Still got the, <laughs> still got, still got the pike to find as well. But uh, I'm still confident we'll get the. Uh, the chub's a difficult one because we usually catch loads of them, but I never really target them. And then today I've targeted them and not caught any, so uh, we we'll remain confident. Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, it's a pike. Oh, it's a poo. Oh, it's a Get it in. Get in and get on the mat. It's, it's done it. Oh, I <laughs> yeah, just chucking around a little, a tiny little French blade spinner and I finally managed to find a chub. Really up against the time at the minute and I've left the pipe to last, which is a horrendous idea. But we have got a chub, it is 30 centimetres or over. It is 30 oh no, 33, 32. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stop there, yeah, we'll stop there. We'll stop it. So. But yeah, so it is 32 centimetres and uh, just nice to get one. Like I said, I don't usually target them, but we end up catching tons of them when I'm after perch, usually on big oars, and then today they just absolutely, today they just disappeared on me. But um, yeah, let's go and get that pike anyway, I ain't got any more time. There we go. Let's go get the pike now. Cheers, mate. <laughs> it took a lot more time to catch that chub than I wanted it to. It was touch and go, mate. It was yeah. touch and go, but we got there. We did. Right, we finally got somewhere where we think we can catch a pike. Just going to, um, we're starting on the surface for them. There's not, there's not enough water, really. So we're struggling with the, um, the weed that's usually buried underwater and what the pike sitting is pretty much dry. So we might have to change tactics, but I ain't got a load of time, so we'll keep uh, we'll keep going, we'll find one I'm sure. I don't think there's one in here though. Get up top, mate, and um, there's probably not much point in throwing it here. We are weedy, it is in shallow. It's really shallow, mate. <laughs> right, we've not got too long left now. We're just going to try and find this pike. bottom. With a bit of luck we'll find a big one. I'm not left with so much time or much choice. Oh, 
my f oh, I feel the breeze. <laughs> just bouncing off my back. Yeah, I just felt one away there. But yeah, we only got another 15 minutes left to fish. It's um, it's not looking, it's not looking promising. There's tons of fish here. There's bream and bait and everywhere. Um, yeah, there's very little water in the canal, in the river. Sorry, but I don't want to make any excuses. I uh, I should have fished for the pike first, as you should in the match. I just figured I'd catch one really easily, but um, as is the case with pike. The easiest fish in the world to catch when you don't want one. And then when you need one, they just completely vanish on you. But I can still see see good fish moving around all the time. There's a chance I'll there's a chance I'll still get one. Just trying a bit smaller now, trying a um, a pearl slick shad. Just seeing white's often a often a good colour. I can see one sat right here. But white's often a, a good colour for them. Or move. But I also had a bit of an issue with the water today. A lot of the place I usually fish for pike, the sort of shallow bays and inlet type things, they're all bone dry. So even here where I usually catch the pikes about six foot lower than it is. So what it's done, it's pushed them off that top shelf where they usually are and the sat, the sat sort of lower down. Hey, I don't believe it. Oh, it's big and all. Oh no. Yeah, it's a big pike. Oh. It's not a super heavy rod and the, the pike in here is really strong but uh, I think it's a good fish. It may well be a meter. Or maybe not. I hope not to be honest, I just want to get it. The head shakes a Xander to be honest. Oh, if it's a Xander it's going to be outrageous. Oh mate, I'm changing my mind. Oh no! I know. I said that as soon as soon as you put like a creature bait on, you just you can fish for perch or something completely. Um, just don't appear like you're targeting a pike. That's how you catch them. You've got to let the um, you've got to let the pike think that you're not trying to catch them. That's how you get one. Oh, I don't believe it. That was a good pike as well, mate. Just, just a big fish. That's painful. I'd have smashed it with that. <laughs> right, this is going to be the last cast then. I haven't managed that pike. I've just lost an absolute monster as well, which is always um, a tough pill to swallow. But I didn't see the fish, but um, it was a good pike. Sometimes you only get that one chance. It's, um, yeah, made an arse of it really. Other than that, the perch fishing has been great. Managed a couple of decent zander. I do think we could have found a bigger zander if we had more time. They weren't feeding really well, but they were feeding enough. You know, they were, they was about and they were biting. Yeah, the perch just stole the show today, though. They fed really well. Caught them all over the place, really. But yeah, just shame about that pike. I should have gone for the pike in the morning. It's a rookie mistake in a competition to not to not fish for the pike first. 
they tend to feed better in the morning and you miss your chance with them but yeah well that's going to do it for us then today I've, um, I've enjoyed fishing this challenge I'm a bit gutted I ain't got that pike to be honest I, um, I should have done better the chub was harder mate yeah the chub was tough the chub took more time than anything pretty much and um, again probably wasted too much time on the chub too much time on the chub should have prioritised to prioritise that pike but it is what it is I look forward to doing a um, another challenge again soon maybe some on a smaller venue or I don't know what they're going to come up with next but yeah I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching Cheers, mate. Awesome, mate. <laughs>